What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Boys, goes back again with another next video. Today, we're gonna get into Pentatonics. Your mean one, Mr. Grinch. This ought to be good. This um, there there should be some low end bass in here. I feel like because in the original song, I think when he says Mr. Grinch, like the guy who sings it, just was kind of like a baritone voice. So uh, I'm expecting some deepness in here, but we'll see. Uh, hope you're having a good day. Come by with your boy. Mr. Grinch, you really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as a meal, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Very cool. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot bowl. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. Have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between the two of you, I'd take the seasick crocodile. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty. Wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote Stink, stink, stank, stink, stunk. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Wow. You're a crooked jerky jockey, and you drive a crooked horse. With arsenic sauce You're a rotter Mr. Grinch You're the king Of what? sinful sauce Your hearts are Dead tomato spots With moldy purple dots Mr. Grinch Mr. Grinch Mr. Grinch Your soul is an appalling dump heap Overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of the most deplorable rubbish imaginable. Mangled up in. Tangled up nuts. Mr. Grinch. <laughs> Grinch. Wow. I was not expecting. Wow. That was so different. It was like a like jazz and waltz uh, scat kind of vibe, like just all mixed up in one and just amped up. Like they just leaned into it all the way. There was a lot going on in there. I'm not going to be able to get to everything. They uh, they were doing a lot, a lot of like vocal combination, like scat kind of things. But they were layered and they were harmonized, and uh, there was just a lot going on in the background to really give the song a lot of life and the the cadence and it was like in triplets and stuff like it was just a different time signature it just gave oh man I, I feel like this one really really brought the song to life like a lot of the other christmas songs i've heard don't get me wrong have been awesome i like the versions that they've done they've really made it their own thing but this one uh, i don't know it, it really just came to life i felt like um like I was watching the movie or something, um, that feeling of kind of fantasy, you know, like when you watch a movie, the most of the time a movie is for like fantasy it's for you to kind of escape and get involved in the, in the movie. That's what this was. I just felt like I escaped reality for a little bit and was in the song, in the music for, you know, the three minutes that was playing. I was just drawn into it because it was so different and so 
creative man this was so good and i feel like this one they really nailed the uh hit the nail on the head um they really just brought the grinch vibes out on this one it had that kind of nasty uh mischievous feel to it, a little bit of like a troublemaking feel to it uh with the energy and and the the choices of notes that they they used in here I'm having a hard time describing this one because it, it's very unique. I mean, just the way that they sang it, the time signature, the way that they blended their vocals, and and even the way that the main vocalist was singing certain um, certain words and, and the life, it was very performative. It just really, really was special. This one is my favorite one that they have done from a creative standpoint and what they've they've managed to turn the song into and make their own. I feel like they really nailed it on this one. They went all out. Um, this one was fire. Mr. Grinch is not one of my favorite Christmas songs. It's a good one. But I like, you know, maybe 12 Days of Christmas or uh, Mary Did You Know even better to listen to than this one. But this one was my favorite as far as just creativity and bringing it to life. This was just a... Uh, like a performance. I felt like I just watched a show, you know, like this was good. The music video was great too. It was simple, but it definitely has a Christmas vibe to it with the red and the green colors kind of going off. It's very simple, but just again, really brings forward that, that Christmas vibe. This was awesome. I would watch this again just because it was very entertaining visually and, and audio wise. It's just so different, man. That was cool. That was really cool. I was expecting them to do a, a pentatonix twist and make their own thing, but this was beyond my expectations. This was really, really something unique and really cool. So I enjoyed this one a lot. I'm, I'm really excited to jump more into the Christmas music because so far it's been cool to just see how they can take these songs and give them a lot of life and make them their own. But this was really their own and really had a life of its own. So shout out to Pentatonix for this one. They killed it. That'll do it for today's reaction video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow. Helps the YouTube algorithm. If you're new here and you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. It takes one second. It really helps me out. If you're not new here, welcome back. I appreciate the love and support as always. Thank you very much for showing me your love. You know what to do? Leave some comments down below. What did you think about this? Do you think that they, they really did this uh, this video, this song justice, or did they ruin it? Um, what are your thoughts? I think they really just knocked this one out of the park. I mean, it was just start to finish special i mean it's just it's so creative and original i really really like it um if you're new to pentatonics hop aboard i still have plenty of recommendations and reactions to jump into as well as if you like pentatonics and you haven't done so already support the the artist the band the group subscribe to the youtube follow them on social media stream the music anywhere and everywhere you can stream music because support is number one for any artist band creator rapper entertainer whoever's making content or music for you to enjoy and you do enjoy it reciprocate that energy via support so with all that being said, I hope you're having a great day. I'm sending positive vibes your way, and until next time, I'm out.